At the end of the day, we need to ensure that the cookies and the use of data provides a better citizen experience. Citizens will accept and users will accept the use of their data if they get a better outcome from it and they get a better experience. And that's what you get from first um, person, first person cookies. I think you have to do the right thing. You know, clients expect it, we expect it as consumers ourselves, that we are exchanging some data in return for value. We are expecting companies that we deal with to protect our data and to not use it inappropriately. We are expecting um, the companies that we deal with or that we want to deal with to actually offer us something valuable in response for what we are offering them in terms of the data we allow them to see. We like to talk about um, a data paradox. We actually, you know, the, when you talk about privacy, when you talk about security, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're living in a data-driven world and it comes down to your ability to use that data. And we often, um, in our own research, we, we've seen that almost the same percentage of organisations know they need more data than they have now. Um, and they say they're gathering that data faster than they can use it. Now, clearly with that comes a responsibility to secure that data, you know, and privacy and, and security. The tech industry is leading these debates when it comes to privacy and user experience and ensuring they have the trust of, this, of the citizen, but also the user in, in a commercial sense. And this is, a, this is playing out very actively at the moment. There's many examples of breaches of data and privacy and trust that go on every month and every year. It is a very, very topical and important issue to get right. Data privacy, security are absolutely on the agenda of um, board members and senior leadership you know, across Australia. I think what's facing a lot of organisations at the moment is actually the fact that some of the changes that we're seeing in both digital, privacy, technology, customer expectation can seem quite overwhelming. I think the, the truth of the matter though is that this is not something that's going away and it's not something that's going to lessen in its impact over time. It needs to be constantly vigilant and update our laws and regulations to ensure that we maintain citizen trust around privacy and their, their data. There is, there is a review going on now, we've urged the government to release their Exposure Draft of the Privacy Act. We do need to update the laws. I think the key thing is to really understand the changes that are coming in the landscape. You know, any digitally oriented um, acquisition business, you really need to understand the technology. You need to really pay attention to the privacy. You need to pay attention to the client experience. And if you have that expertise in-house and those people in-house who can help you do that, keep investing in educating those people because it's really changing very, very quickly. The second thing I would say is, you know, understand the technology and the data that you need in place in order to handle first party data systems that you need in order to connect the customer experience that you need in order to measure the, um, you know, the interconnectedness and the touch points so that you can attribute real value to them and make better investment decisions. We as an association uh, ensure that we do lead those regulatory conversations locally. We've been doing that for a long time and we'll continue to do that. It is about um, responsibility, trust, transparency. If you lose that, then governments will naturally respond in a way that is perhaps not always what we want. So it comes down to cultural awareness, education, organisational behaviour. But I think organisations now need to look at data not just as an asset, but also a liability. And that's a different lens to look at data and privacy through. So Simon, you mentioned that data is in fact a liability. Could you elaborate on that? Data has been considered with the birth of the internet as, as digital gold, if you like. It's the, it's the oil rush of the, of the 21st century. I think that there's, there's been a shift though around citizens' expectations and you can consume and acquire so much data. There's an attitude now that why are you collecting that data? Is it data for good? How are you securing that data? And now there's a requirement on governments to treat that as a liability now. It should be treated as a liability. So if that data gets breached, or gets lost, you have poor governance control, poor culture within your organisation, you're going to have to deal with that through penalties, but also erosion of citizen trust and, and consumer trust in your brand. Our data protection research shows that 65% of organisations across Asia Pacific and Japan are worried about a disruptive event such as data loss this year. So it's a very real threat and a very real concern for business. So simply put, there's more data than they can handle right now. They know they need more, 
but they need to protect it better as well. So by becoming this sort of data first, data anywhere, um, you know, society and business is clearly at the centre of that, um, we kind of need to turn that burden into an advantage. We need to enhance and harness the value of the uh, massive data pools that we, um, you know, we have available to us. So, you know, that takes agility, that takes um, changing to your customers' needs, changing to the legislative environment, um, your obligations um, around data security and, and privacy, etc. So it's ever evolving is the reality. I firmly believe that there are companies who will be absolute winners and losers in this. If a company and, and a team can get their head around, actually, this is a new way of doing business, this digital disruption, this privacy disruption, this expectation from your clients, you can make that at the heart of what your team does and how you deliver. You know, I think those are the companies that will win clients and they will win in business um, and they will have probably you know, much happier teams because they're doing really good things. They're doing the right thing as well. But there will be businesses who don't get in front of it and I think those will be the losers.